Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to thank both committees for coming here. I want to thank the Borough Police Department for being here to make sure that everything goes smoothly, which all of us Boroughville residents want to happen. I bought my house 30 years ago in Boroughville for all the exact reasons that all these people have cited. The peace and quiet, the beautiful countryside, the clean, crisp, which I still tell everybody that I know that I have the best water in the country. And I travel for my job, and I can't wait to get home as bad as it is, okay? Boroughville changed a lot in the last 30 years, I can tell you that. Okay, when I first bought my house, I was afraid. I had my gun next to my head every night because I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't hear any sirens. I couldn't hear anything, right? The silence was scary. But then I got used to it. And about three or four weeks after I moved into my house, I smelled this odor and I said, what the hell is that? Well, it was my neighbor burning his garbage. He's like, what the hell is that? He's burning his garbage is coming right in my bedroom window. It's 75 degrees on a beautiful summer night. I'm listening to the crickets. It's beautiful out there, right? So I go over there the next day. How you doing, pal? I'm Johnny, your new neighbor. How you doing? Uh, he wasn't too happy about me not being totally enthralled with that stench. So I had to adapt, and I had to get used to it, okay? Then an animal crawled in my neighbor's well and died. So I had to put up with that stench and give him all my water. Then, after that, Danielle Projou built this giant plant in the back of my land, and I couldn't ride my horses back there anymore. I had to put up with that, right? That was noisy, all kinds of construction going on. I had to deal with that, okay? And then the Exxon station, that blew up. I was the last house on that street before that town water started, right? I was lucky, because I have a 400-foot artesian well that still today is producing the best water ever, okay? So I had to deal with that, and I had to give all my neighbors all kinds of water for a long, long, long time. And there's still something wrong with that well. We all know that, right? So as I travel around the country doing my job for my great union, the laborers' union, and I come home, I relish getting home to that garbage burning, that lousy water next door, the Danielle Prejoux factory, all these things that went wrong with the town, all the people that moved there, three, four times as many people, at, at least, I don't even know the numbers, I'm not a stat guy, but I'll tell you what, wherever I go, I can't wait to get back to Burville, as bad as it is, and I'll tell you a common thread I heard here tonight, that's pretty depressing. Well, you people get up on your moral milk boxes and you tell me about, oh, you can't have this, it'll pollute this, you can't have that. Guess what? Every one of you will settle for dollars. Okay, so where are your morals? I don't settle for nothing. Where are your morals? They don't settle for dollars. I heard everyone say, especially the real estate guy. All the values are going down. But guess what? Everything's going down. Everything. So here's your comment thread. If you want to have morals, use some real ones and not no greenbacks in your pocket. Mr. Miller, Am I out of time? Thank you very much.